Hi, so this video we're going to work out the volume of a triangular prism. Um, if you have a look at mathswrap.co.uk, there's a few questions on this particular type of uh, problem. Uh, it's relatively straightforward, and if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, there is a playlist for volumes and density of regular prisms. And also, if you visit matterapp.co.uk, uh, there's quite an explanation on there as well. So this particular question is around about grade C um, at GCSE. It's usually worth something like three or four marks. Uh, it should be fairly straightforward because what we're looking to do is calculate an area and then look at multiplying that area by the length of the prism and that will give us the overall volume. Okay, so with this one we've got a triangle, okay, and the triangle itself is three centimeters by four centimeters and then the prism itself or the overall prism is seven centimeters long. So I'm just going to try and Draw that up on the board. There you go. Okay, and hopefully you can see that. Okay, that it is. That's not too bad, is it? That's a triangular prism. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do with this triangular prism is, firstly, we're going to work out the area of the triangle at the side, and then we're going to multiply it by the overall length. Okay, so the first thing is, is that if we look at the area of the triangle first, now this is three centimetres and this is four centimetres. Okay, if you have a look at um, the website, you'll be able to see how we calculate the area of triangles. Um, it's fairly straightforward because what we're looking to do is to um, half its equivalent rectangle. Okay, so what I mean by that is that you've got... Um, well, any triangle really, and providing you know the overall height and the overall width, um, effectively what we do then is put it into a rectangle and then divide it by two. Now sometimes uh, you'll see these formulas and it'll say something like a half uh, width times height. And that's exactly true because with times height is the overall area of the rectangle, and then we multiply it by a half and we get the area of the triangle. Okay, so what we've got here is, um, if I just write at the side here, so I'm going to put area of triangle equals a half width, which is three centimetres, multiplied by the height, which is four centimetres. Now, uh, just a couple of things, just actually while I think about it, is that you need to make sure these are all the same units. Um, occasionally on these questions, you might get something like 70 millimetres or 0.7 of a metre or something like that. So, 0 0.07 of a metre. So, um, sometimes you need to convert, make sure you convert them through to exactly the same uh, unit. Also, with the area of the triangle, um, if you multiply a half times width times height, that's fine. You could write it as 3 times 4 divided by 2. That means exactly the same. Um, so, what we're going to do here is say 3 times 4, which is 12. And then 12 multiplied by half is 6. Or 12 divided by 2 is also 6. So, the area of the triangle is 6 centimetres squared. Okay, and it is important to make sure that as you're working through these that you quote the units each time. Okay, so the area of this piece here is six centimeters squared. And in order to calculate the volume, so if I put volume of uh, prism Okay, it's actually a triangular prism. Uh, it's a bit like a Toblerone bar. If uh, if you're in the UK, uh, we have Toblerone, uh, which is a chocolate bar. But um, it's the area of the triangle, which is six centimeters squared, 
multiplied by the overall length, which is 7 centimetres. Okay, so the volume of the prism is 6 times 7, which is 42. And then it's centimetres squared times centimetres, which is centimetres cubed. And that would answer the question, and that would give you four marks at uh, GCSE. Um, I hope that's been useful for you. Uh, please do visit mathsrap.co.uk and there are downloadable worksheets. Uh, you can also post, pin, tweet. Uh, do add a comment below uh, and I will get back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.